Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, hey, it's on. All right. Hey, everybody. Oh, it's great to see everybody online. Oh, and there's people here. Look at that. There's deacons and there's moms and dads. Oh, and kids. Hey, kids. And oh, I see Pastor Greg and Pastor Aaron. Wow, look at there's people in the building. And oh, 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 I should probably introduce who I am. I am Ricky the Rat. Nice to meet you. If you're wondering, well, what's a rat have to do with church? Well, I'm in charge of all the children's ministries. What? Oh, all right, all right. I may not be in charge of all the children's ministries, but I help out with making videos for Children's Church and our summer Wednesday night devotional for the kids because the kids are important to us. Kids, you are. You're special to us. And we want to make sure you guys have something that you can watch that helps give you biblical principles during the week and on Sundays. So we've been doing that since the beginning of March. Did you know that? If you go to our webpage at www.mvbc.org and click on the Children's tab, You'll see all our videos ever since March, and we'll be putting ones up twice a week, every week, well, until we're told we don't have to anymore. Because we can't meet together in person, uh, all the children, so we're doing it this way to try to make things special. And Pastor Greg asked me to come here today and talk to you about that and tell you about it and make sure you go to the webpage and watch it with your kids or by yourself, whatever, and, and uh, do something special today for the kids. And so I thought I would for the kids and, and for you adults. So can I do that? A little quick lesson? Because uh, that's what we do on, on our videos. We do skits and songs and object lessons and we teach Bible truths. So today I'll teach a quick one. Is that okay? So, okay, uh, let me do an object lesson. Let me grab this, hold on. So this is, uh, this is just a book, just a little book. It's not too hard to carry, right? We've all carried books before, so it's not that hard. We could probably do this for a while, right? But, but what if we added, what if we added another book? Oh, oh my, oh my, this is, this is kind of heavy. It's a little bit hard to carry this for a little rat, but what if we added another book? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh, oh my, oh. We added another book and this is too heavy and the burden is just too much and we just get handled it alone. Oh, oh. Uh oh, I dropped the books because I just couldn't carry all those books by myself. Well, you know what? Sometimes that's like being a Christian. And you're probably wondering how. Well, that's why I'm here to tell you. So, carrying those books can be something like, uh, it can be sometimes like following Jesus, right? Because it maybe feel easy at first. Like with that first book, it's light and I can carry this, no problem. But as time goes on, it may feel heavier. You know, between the world we live in and everything going on, plus our own hearts and the sin that's in that, right? Over time, can make it feel very heavy to follow Jesus. It's like a constant force is pressing down on us, making it so hard to follow God's plan. But you know what? God gave us a wonderful gift to help with that. Do you know what that is? It's the church! That's right! And, and guess what? I want to deal with a misconception right here, because sometimes there's a common error that, that children make or people make that they think about going to church. It's kind of like, I'm going to church, just like I go to the store, just like I go to the movies or to school. It's just a building, right? Well, no, it's not. This is a building. It's old, it's drafty, it's leaky, but that's not the church. You are the church. You, who are believers in Christ, are the church. The people are. That's right. It's not this old drafty building, but you. Oh my goodness, and the Bible talks about that all over the place. You can find it in Ecclesiastes 4.12, where it says, though a man might prevail against uh, one who is alone, two will withstand him, and th a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Or even Proverbs 27.17, where it says, iron sharpens iron, right? One man sharpens another. Or Ecclesiastes 4.9, where it says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. Or Hebrews 10, um, Verses 24 through 25, where it says, Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of son, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. And that's the day that Jesus Christ comes back. And God has given us this gift of the church, which is each other. Not this building, but each other. And it is so wonderful that we also have technology. So we have videos and internet and telephones where we can still encourage each other as members of the church. We are the church, not the drafty building, but you. And hopefully, you're not drafty. So I just wanted to share that real quick. It's so great to be able to meet together and just remember that the church is you. The church is in a building. So even though we can't be together in person all the time, we are still together in spirit as the members of the body of Christ. Well, please watch our videos each week. I got to get off here before Pastor Greg shuts me off because he only told me five minutes in. Right now it's five minutes. And now it's 5.01. 
502. Oh, I better go. Uh, well, anyways, I, I hope to see you all uh, watching me uh, and the others on Wednesday nights and on Sundays. I'll talk to you all later. Have a great Sunday.